Okay guys, here we are. Today I am trying to show you how to set up a rotating region to like simulate uh, axial fan or anything like that. So this is my model. Actually we are working on a project so we have to make this so I am just using that to show you the simulation and analysis. So this is how I first made the model. Actually I made it in assembly uh, at first, all separate parts, rotor, IGV, OGV, shroud, hub, and then my teacher asked to make it as a single part so that it will be easier to analyze it and answers. So I did that. So first at first I made this, all these are according to dimensions, these are not random. First this thing is made to act like uh, it, 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 it helps in making the rotor as we make this and after that this is important this we imported the NACA 2414 curve coordinate to make this cross section then it was extruded like this actually what the uh, important thing is that the coordinates they come in from 0 to 1 like uh, their dimension is from 0 to 1 like if I am working in centimeters then it will be from 0 to 1 its length will be this thing maximum it will be 1 centimeter we actually needed it to be 10 centimeters thick so I used R to import the data and then multiply all the uh, columns by 10 and then save it. You can use Excel or anything if you get a problem like that. Ah, okay, so let's move on forward. So, uh, first this was extruded. Then we needed the blade to be at 45 degrees to the axis. So this was rotated. I hope you know how to rotate. You can go to insert, then features. And select the body and you can use the move copy option which is there so, so then we rotated it to 45 degrees and then it was cut outside because our shroud was of 20 centimeters dia you can see this is straight then it was cut reward cut then inside also we needed to cut it so this was cut out here and then I took a pattern to get this as final result at first I had just used this as a part and then made assembly but my teacher asked to make it whole thing as a part how this actually has I made it in folder this had this part and then in front of our test rig we had a conical shape it wasn't exactly conical but for the for simplifying we took it as conical first this was made and then i made this and remember as i had to make that as a single part so while extruding this i selected the merge result option which is actually result uh, is actually selected by default then after this we made the duct or you can say the shroud shroud was like this so, and then it was easy thing, it was, uh, we used uh, revolve command to make it because actually we had some extension here but then our teacher said that let us simplify it at first and then remove that extension so this it was removed. Then the first blade, first IGV was made. It, the test trick which we are on is quite simple actually so it has just a plate like this to act as IGV and similarly as OGV. So first this one was made. I used the right plane to make it. Middle front I don't remember which exactly. And after this it was also rotated using using the same technique. And we rotated it to 20 degree and because our experiments was were done at 20 degree and 10 degrees and 0 degrees at different degrees but to make out one of the condition we have to get as 20 degree then after this OGV was made outlet guidelines 
similarly they were related to i think 10 degrees i don't remember exactly i think it is 10 then igb were circular pattern so to get a full thing then ogb similarly oh and one important thing that as we have to make it in part and actually this wouldn't have been a problem if i was analyzing it just in solidworks but my guide wanted to analyze it in ansys they just love ansys too much so asked for that what i was asked to do that make a hub along with this rotor as a part and these igv and ogv along with the shroud as another part as i would have to have just two parts so that in ansys you can just enter that this part should be rotating and this part shouldn't be rotating thankfully we don't have this problem in solidworks simulation solidworks flow simulation and this thing actually you might be knowing or if you are first time you might not be knowing this is the final result okay but this is useful this you need to make an extruded cylinder to define your rotating region so you need to make it i had my rotator as a, the rotating region so i made this you can see my full rotor is covered in it then after that two lids these are actually created when you go to the flow simulation and if you select the internal analysis so what so I'll now try to show you what will happen, how to set up the analysis. Well, you can go to directly of his art. You can give any name to project as per your wish. Next. Here, if you want to change these, you can do. I, didn't, I don't need to do that. Here, it is important whether you want internal analysis or external analysis. We need ex internal analysis because of the this fan was inside a duct we could have done external also no problem but it, would have, it is easier to do with internal because mainly the mesh problem is that if i make it as external and if i make a too fine mesh it will take hours and hours to solve it this usually gets solved within two hours so it is not much of a problem we'll then you, here you will select rotation you can either select local averaging or sliding for more info on this you can check the documentation we didn't need effect of gravity so we don't I, we didn't select if you need you might select time dependency if you want you can select and we didn't need because anyways our results are going to converge then gas we needed air here nothing else is required this we didn't need to change anything it default to the uh, pressure was going to be these are the environmental conditions we didn't need to change it is not required velocity none of these velocities need to be changed because these are uh, usually useful in different type of analysis and this it was not required if you need a new situation you are of course free to use here is the result resolution that how fine you want your mesh to be always remember if you are try to go towards the final mesh it will take more time so better to use local initial local meshes that like i'll show you but the fund is that if we are trying to mesh this whole thing so actually this region or you can say this region these don't need a very fine mesh but here where the solid and uh, fluid interaction is happening where the most most this is uh, the most important reason so here i'll i'll make a uh, finer mesh compared to the region. you can make in full thing of course but it won't be much useful and it will just consume your time so you can just then finish it so after this this comes it is not watertight this comes because you don't have lid because i discovered it if you remember so it, you can open the lid, create lid thing and then you can just select that you want a lid here on this face and on this face. You don't need those. So you can just do this. What 
to rebuild is rebuilt so it gives problems if if in time you are in frozen condition you have started frozen condition and then you have to make changes to geometries better go here and disable the automatic rebuild because if you do that if it it you will keep it tagged if it you will keep automatic rebuild enabled it will continuously keep asking you that computational domain need to be changed as there has been a change in geometry if you will change if you will make any changes so that is quite irritating if you are making changes so you can just un uh, uncheck it now i'll show you the setup how to set up the how i set up we needed to set up your condition can always be different so it's really what we needed that we are actual flow and just needed that it was in a open room so means it was at environmental pressure so we just needed to add the boundary condition as environmental pressure pressure is here environmental pressure and we needed to select that phase here this is our limit actually this was, this was our, our outlet so let me select here this phase environmental pressure temperature if you want you can change so our boundary condition is set the only thing now we need to do is to define our rotating region go here insert rotating region you also might have this problem that it doesn't just select this as i have kept the transparency of this thing changed so go here make it for this thing change the transparency back so that it becomes opaque oh, and remember this when you make this untick the merge untick the merge result option don't forget that else it will become the same single part single solid body in this whole region along with the blades and it will be fully useless you go here rotating region insert rotating region now you can select this I still can't select because of the shroud come here now you can select so as you can see our you can't see but uh, if we are in this view our this our rotor was rotating in clockwise way currently it is rotating in anti clockwise that's why i'll just add a minus here and it was at 2000 rpm 2000 rpm reload automatically converted to radians per second no problem with that and select okay then I prefer to change the transparency back or just hide the thing. It is not useful. And so now the most important thing that local initial mass. Because currently, if we just run this thing, don't don't solve it. Just to see the mesh. Let's wait. Mesh generation is finished. I didn't solve it because I just wanted to see the mesh. That is quite important when you don't, when you want to see if mesh is proper or not for you. Don't solve it. Just enter the solve option and just get the. Mesh. So let's see. So now you can see that our mesh is not fine enough. It is good that it is a bit. Course here, it is comparatively finer here, but we don't need that actually. We need it to be very fine here. It needs to be very very fine in at least this region. Actually, it should be in this region too. This full region from where IGV starts and where this ends, OGV. This won't be enough. I feel this will like this. And if you see the front view, see it is very coarse. It is very won't be useful at all. So for that, first hide this, and we do insert the local emission mask. Oh, again I have that problem. Need to go show it. Select. Come in local emission. Sorry, emission mission is not working. 
Solid here. I'm unable to select. I'll show you the result. I have done that. Then after that, always after refining here, just go and run and untick this all option so that you can see how how fine uh, the mesh you have got. Now I'll show you the results of this and the mesh which I I have got. This is where I have done the analysis. I have done actually four iterations, so just to check if the it is working properly. This is what while this this and you can see the localization mesh. I selected the boss extrude, the full solid, 3D solid. Sometimes it doesn't select, but sometimes I need to go here, component control, enable it, then it works. It gives problems sometimes. Maybe I am I just I don't know how to use it properly, but all the time I get it to work for me after some tweaking around. Local initial mesh is saw that this mesh was a local initial mesh. Now you can see our results. First, we can see the mesh. Partial source is enabled. Okay. So you can see the mesh is very fine near the router. It can be made in finer, but this was enough for me for our initial test. You can see it is very fine. This is what you need, at least near the rotor, to get a proper result because this cross section, if you want to have a proper mesh like this, it will be quite useless to have such a cross section. You won't be getting the proper streamlines. Sorry. And now you can see the flow trajectories which I got. The results were actually quite close to our experimental values. Experimental values we were getting at these two phases, means between the rotor and the IGV and rotor and the OGV, we were getting a static pressure increase of 240 pascals. And in the analysis on SOLIDWORKS, we got it as 260, or maybe it was vice versa. One at one place it was 240, and the other place it was 260. It was quite interesting to see that. You can see the average value, it has a thing of around 160. No, I'm sorry, 160, 140, not 240, 260. So that's all. I hope you liked the video.